We've been here now for a couple weeks. We're in the Triana district and it's it's all about the tapas and the market over here in this, this, this end of town and we really enjoy it. Now we're headed over to the Santa Cruz district, the uh, old town district to see the cathedral and... I take you over towards the um, Alcazar and the um, Plaza de España. Yeah. So some of the things we've just found while we've been here that we have really, really enjoyed seeing. So we're gonna go and take you over there and show you those as well. Let's go. Okay, so the first place that we want to take you to today is the cathedral here in Sevilla. Uh, we were totally impressed with this location. Yeah. There are 80 cathedrals inside this building, so definitely allow a couple hours to see everything. There's a lot to take in. Um, even during a crowded time, you can walk around throughout and you really, I don't think you would notice. We're here in the off season, so we didn't um, so have any better. issues. Yeah, yeah, we had no issues whatsoever. Except for the tower. Uh, what's the name of the tower? Geralda. Geralda Tower. Um, it's pretty steep to get up to the top. Uh, there's no stairs, but there's there's ramps that take you all the way up. It's, uh, what, 350? I think it's 105 meters. 105 meters uh -huh. uh, tall, so it's up there. You get great views of the whole city. Yeah. Um, not can get crowded, I'm sure. We've seen pictures, it wasn't that bad for us, but again, we're in the, the, the shoulder season. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's worth the price of admission. It was 10 euro yeah. to get in, so totally worth that price, and we would highly recommend coming you have here. To do this it. is a must see, you gotta for do sure. It. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it.
the Royal Alcazar, now this was built back in the 1300s uh, for King Peter. And supposedly when the royal family comes to Sevilla, they still stay in this residence. Now this residence, they've got everything from flamingo fans to, to pottery to ceramics to oil paintings, all dating back to the 1400s, 1500s. So it's really neat to see all the history that goes on here. Um, the, the gardens themselves. The, the gardens are really, if you look at the Royal Alcazar, um, is what you're going to find. It's a lot of garden space. Uh, it was actually really impressive of how large this is in the city center to see all of that This time space. of year. I can't yeah. imagine what it would look like in, in late spring and right, summer. Right, right. It would have been very beautiful uh, when everything's in bloom, but totally worth seeing. It's a $13 or 1350 euro, euro entrance fee. Um, and uh, I would allow probably a good two hours as yeah, well for definitely. this location to see everything and just be able to take it in and enjoy it. So we highly recommend coming here as well. So this is our favorite empanada stop. Um, today I'm just getting coffee. Brian gets the empanada. Um, they have what? what like twelve <laughs> different kinds of empanadas that you can pick from. Yeah, they got a whole the best bunch. Best ones in town. So that's kind of our easy stop if we want just a snack. So now we're at Plaza de España, and I would have to say this has been one of my favorite locations here. We've come here many times to um, just take it all in. We've come in the daytime and during night, which I recommend both because at night it gets all lit up and the fountain is different colors. Um, this location is um, free to get into, which is another plus. So It's also open 24-7, mm -hmm. so you can come anytime you like. Yeah, so um, it was built in 1929 for the World Fair and currently is now just being used for government offices, which honestly from this side of the building, you really don't, you see, don't see that at all. all. Yeah. Uh, you have to go to the other side to even notice it's being used for offices. So. Now, this place is also uh, a set for two major films. Now, we reenacted one of the scenes, so if you figure out which movie that's from let us know it's pretty obvious our our acting is spot on so Great. it's a dead yeah. giveaway on which <laughs> movie it, it is but uh, pretty cool though to, to watch the movie clips and, and say that we were there yeah. right in the middle of it also anyway it's it's huge it's, it's very expansive it's fun there's music going on there's uh, flamingo dancers uh so come check it out yeah.
Okay, the Setus Dei Sevilla. Now this is the largest wood structure in Europe. It's only 10 years old. It costs five euros to get up into. You can walk around the top. You can see the whole city landscape. To me, it's not very interesting. Okay, I like really old stuff. This isn't very old. And if I lived in one of these beautiful apartments in the middle of Sevilla, and this is my new view, uh, I wouldn't be very excited about it. But apparently, it's a tourist attraction that, that many think is really nice. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to go up top or not. Um, we're choosing not to. So there you go. So we are back here in the Triana district, which is where we're staying, and we are ready to relax and chill a bit, and hope you enjoyed our favorite places here in Spia. All right, cheers. Cheers.